What is going on guys? Lou dude back here again. So uh good news to update with. Um Let's see, well I had replaced a sensor in here. Um I'll show you which one. Let's pop the hood. Under the hood here. It was the uh, thermo sensor. So I had replaced that. Hood prop here. So, like I said, I replaced the um, thermo sensor, which is located right back here. Um, you take the ignition coil off and then um, it should be, it's right back here. But anyway, I had replaced that yesterday and put the new one in because the car was just a bouncy idle and just straight, it was just straight acting funny, so. I had went ahead and replaced that, and then I had the new one in the house, but, um, got that changed over, got my radiator fan to kick on, so that kicks on now, um, put this in here, this is, um, a thermostat cap correct me if I'm wrong um, what this does is it tells you the temperature of the coolant so it's easier to read so you're not gonna blow yourself up in the face with coolant and you go to take this off so you can see how hot it is but this works great um, when it's fully warmed up I'm sitting about at 150 degrees. Let's see if I can show you that. There we go. I said at 150 degrees, so. And that's right there. But it does not go any higher. And I have no steam since I replaced this because it was leaking right around there. Uh, the neck. Because let's go over here. The cap. This is the old radiator cap that went on the Miata. This was leaking right around this area right here. So it wasn't sealing properly. So it would leak out of the neck. So I replaced that. And I think this looks way better on here anyway. And it's functional. So I don't have to use a um, digital... Uh, thermostat like having the prelude so this is way easier and it works a lot better for me anyway so um yeah uh let's see what else um ever since I replaced the new thermostat um haven't had any leaks uh, the car sits where it's supposed to on the gauge. So that's good. I cleaned up this a bit. So, but yeah. And I had a chance to put the new mirrors on, like I described in my last video, I think. These are the, e the eBay ones. That I got from the seller. These are from California. And. These are the replacement ones. So these are good on the inside. They're not rusted or anything. So. The other ones. I liked them. But they were just rusted. So I had sanded these down. All the way down. Um, they were red. But the seller had. Like plasti dipped. And spray painted it. So it took me about, um, I'm going to say 
three and a half hours all together to sand all this down. And then I painted it, put a couple coats. So, um, but yeah, as you can see, these are functional. So these aren't gonna snap off. So, which is nice. So yeah, I got that done. Um, had Old Faithful in the car and it decided it wanted to crack so that was sad so i don't know what i'm gonna do with this yet so that sucked so i was driving home from walmart when it said snap so i had to be easy so i didn't completely lose it so uh see what else um the last thing to do that I've been holding off on are these these are the new suspension that I had ordered and these are the adjustable uh ride height and then damper i think correct me if i'm wrong but um these i have been having sitting around and i just haven't installed them on there yet but i will eventually but i've heard some pretty bad things about these so that's why i'm holding off right now with putting these on but i got all of them so, just said not ready, but eventually I will. So, um, these other ones, like I said, are they're pretty shot. Um, the rubber top hats from in here, underneath, on the rear, they're starting to disintegrate. So there's nothing left. So, um. Uh, days have been nicer, so I'm able to be outside more. And so, like I said, um, I will be doing the uh, new suspension on here shortly. Um, and then I had went and I cleaned the seats up because they're pretty disgusting and then I didn't have a chance when I got the car to do it so um I did some of it today I know you can't notice it but um I stopped to do it again but um this came out pretty good so I just gotta get the rest of it and before I did this, the whole, both the seats looked like this, and it's just disgusting, so. I gotta hit them again, so I can get these seats looking nice. So, I did the passenger and then the driver's side. So, yeah. Um, and then, I had... Uh, took a look at these speakers because they're pretty much shot, so I'm gonna have to replace those. And this is the passenger one, this one's blown. And whoever installed these um, did it a really funky way, so that's disgusting. But, as you can see, they're being held in by these screws with, um, they're like, I don't know what those are, but they're just screwed in there, as you can see. And then, these are just shot, so, 
Uh, they've seen better days, but I'm definitely gonna have to replace this. So, and then whenever the radio plays, this makes funny noises like that. So, they're pretty much shot. So I don't know who installed these, but I don't know what they were thinking. These washers behind these screws. But I have to replace these because that's a bit annoying. Because when the radio plays, this thing here vibrates. It's very obnoxious, so. But. Yeah, that's the next thing on my list. So. That's exciting. So. But. I'll get those replaced eventually. So. Um. And then I went ahead and. I had. Took the chance and cleaned this top finally. In my one video, you can see how dirty and disgusting it was. But now it's just, it's looking a lot better. So. Um, I have to hit it again with the scrub brush and then the Meguiar's uh, convertible top cleaner. But, um, it looks better than what it was because. And this is what it looked like when I used Meguiar's uh, convertible top stuff. It pulled all this, like, mud off. It's just, like, caked on. That's only from the first go-around, so... I'm gonna have to hit it again. That's disgusting. So, what I used was... I went ahead and I used... This stuff. Highly recommend this stuff. This is the Meguiar's convertible top cleaner. So I took this, put it on there. Um, you're supposed to use this when the car top is cold and not in direct sunlight. So and then you take a mic um, microfiber cloth to it at the end, and then wipe away all the excess dirt and. All that good stuff, so. And then I used this, this scrub brush, so. Went ahead and did that. So. Um. I also had a chance to redo the lights. So. These were a disgusting gray, if you look in one of my videos. It looked like this. So. I didn't like the way it looked. So I took these off and I sanded them down and then I repainted them and I did about two coats. So it's just dirt, but I did two coats and then two coats clear coat and I think they look a lot better. So. And then, I'm um, still trying to pull this dent out, so when I go to do the suspension, I can get up under here, the fender well, right here, and then get this dent out, because it's, it's pretty dented in, as you can see. So, I'll get that, and I'll get it all popped out, and then it'll look like that side over there, which has no dents, so... But I'll get it all popped out. So, and I still haven't had a chance to do the wiper blades, the arms. So, you gotta, like I said, they have to be taken off, and then I sand them down, and then repaint them. But, other than that, like I said, pretty much it. Trying to get the car looking nice and running good too. So a sensor, thermo sensor, really helped with that. So now the engine's running a lot better and sounds smoother. So like I said, I don't get that check engine 
light on anymore and whatnot, so that helped. And then this is on the back of the coil pack, there's like a groove that this sits in. So it like kind of sits like that on the back of the coil pack. This is a pain in the butt to get out. I'm going to focus here. Um, and this is held on by a bolt. So that's, you can tell it's all, it's all falling apart also. So that's what happens when the car is neglected. So, but it's in good hands now. So I'm going to get everything taken care of. But that's just disgusting. So, but yeah. So I'll keep you guys updated when I decide to take those and put them on there. I'm just going to do a little more research about these before I go ahead and do so. But, um, if you guys have use these or know someone who have used these um throw down in the comments uh what you thought about them these are the um okay if we get the focus here the max speed rods i'm assuming that's what they're called don't focus but they're max speed rods. Um, I haven't heard of them before, but like I said, I'm going to give them a try. See how they do. Then go from there. But if they don't work the way they should, I'm just going to take the old suspension and slap it back on there. And then go from there. But um, other than that, Stay tuned with that progress because I know that's going to be a pain in the butt because the bolts and whatnot. So, but yeah. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to subscribe down in the corner. Uh, throw in the comments what you thought of the video. Uh, don't forget to share. Until next time, Lou Dude out.